guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be making a corset t-shirt and we'll be making use of this white t-shirt of course it's just a plain regular white t-shirt and obviously we'll be needing a denim to add to the lower part of it so this is the denim i have this old pair of denim and you'll be using this today to make the corset t-shirt so if you are new to this channel what are you waiting for please click on the subscribe button and if you want to know how this turns out then you definitely need to keep watching and this is the end result so come on let me show you how it's done so the first thing we need to do is to draw some markings around the under bust so get using your pen or pencil i would advise you to use your pencil is to create a cup along your bra cup area just make sure you follow that your bra cup and then mark the line you know take your time it's very easy you don't need any measurement for that just follow the marking under your bra this thing and then you move it to the back all the way to the back once you have that then we can proceed so using a chalk now to make this line more profound and that's exactly what i'm doing here for us to actually see the line properly before i proceed with the project so after doing that i have to ensure that each sides are equal right from where the bra cup stops and the measurement beside the bra cup on the left and the right side are also equal as well then i cut this out just straight just straight cutting nothing you know extra for now then i reached out for my palazzo pants fold this into two the distance itself is 10 inches wide the trouser the, you know the leg is 10 inches wide or 10 and a half inches wide sorry then i measured eight and a half inches for the length which i'm going to be joining to the t-shirt so now what i needed has been cut out and extra fabric that is left will be placed on one side the next thing i'm doing now is to turn the legs inside one by one and after doing this i have to cut out the previous seam allowance that is on both sides so that has been done here as indicated here throw those away we don't need them then you unfold and place each on each other make sure that the lines are equal exactly you know those double lines i usually come with it so from that double line then you can measure four four inches on both sides of those um of, yeah just measure four four inches on both sides then get your ruler and really straight line downwards so take your time and make sure it's showing i don't think this is actually showing i might have to change this chalk to a white chalk so the lines will be more profound and you can actually see that so the next thing i'm doing now is that i added another half inch allowance which will stand as a dart allowance so i'm using a white chalk now in order for the lines to be more profound and for you to actually view this properly so i'm repeating the marks on the back side of the leg of the second uh, denim so you will fold the half inch that way sew it you do it for the first panel and you repeat the same process for the second panel as well so let's get on the sewing machine so with the starting with the first panel i'm joining the dart which we used four inches for don't forget and it's just by half inch the dart is just half inch so i'm doing this for the second side so don't forget you'll be doing it on both both sides so once you're through with this then you have to top stitch so that's what i'm doing i'm going to be top stitching the four sides that will be we have sewn so moving on then you have to place one of the denim on top of the t-shirt and trace out the cup that was previously traced out you have to trace them and ensure that they are equal so once this has been done you have to get your scissors and cut out the traced area and it should look like this now it's time for us to pin the t-shirt and the cut out denim on each other so you have to be very careful and make sure that you do not exceed the markings that were previously there so take your time and mark this so guys if you're still watching this and you're new to this channel what are you waiting for please please click on it please please click on the subscribe button we'd love to have you as part of our diy family i've already a subscriber thank you so much and guys don't forget to drop a like drop a comment and share this video link as well so that a lot of people will know what we do here and benefit from what we do here thank you so i'm almost through with this the center is very very important and you have to get that right once you are through with that you turn the t-shirt to the other side place the back panel on it and then you reach out for your tape row. measure half inch and use this half inch to create a slope from one side to the other and cut this out so it should look like that then we have to cut out the sides 
of the t-shirt it should look like this so then you can now place the black back panel on the back of the t-shirt and pin this down so this might take a while but you know we need everything to be perfect you know so that we won't have to make mistake the pin will place it will keep everything in place and it won't have to be moving around so you sew through this area and then you do the same for the front as well but the front you have to be very very careful about now we are back on the sewing machine and as you can see i style with the front side so i'm sewing on the denim but i left half inch at the top which we are still going to rip to get the effect that way the effect that i have planned for this project so moving on so if you are new to this channel what are you waiting for guys please click on the subscribe button we love to have you as part of our diy family we have loads of diy and trip flip tutorials on this channel that you'll be so happy that you came across so now i've moved to the back area i started from the side and now since the pin has held everything in place and i'm arranging it properly so i'm sewing through the back and also if you observe i left half inch allowance at the top so because i'm going to be ripping that off as well to get the effects so now this is what it looks like afterwards and all this extra t-shirt fabric are not required we don't need them we don't want them looking all bulky and trashy so we need to trace this out so moving on to the front as well you need to take your time while you're doing that and not over trace or over cut what was left of the t-shirt fabric now turning the t-shirt inward we will be sewing the sides as well and you need a zipper for the side in order for it to be able to fit you and all that so inserting my waist circumference which is 28 inches i left so i have one one inch sewing allowance for both the left and the right side so now i'm through with joining the right side don't forget that the zipper needs to be fixed on the left side of the the top and guys please check out our previous post simple diy ruched skirts unboxing bulky puma disruptor mesh wmn and pimp your phone case and a host of others so guys it's almost over so just wait and relax i'm you know working on the last part of the zipper so it takes time invisible zip takes patience you know for you to get it right and not you know having to lose it or now you have to cut out the extra zipper and turn it outward and this is what it looks like but our work is not yet done so i got myself a little needle and started ripping off the extra half inches i left remember the half inches i left at the top of the denim went sewing it to the t-shirt yeah that one so we need to rip it off like you know just take your time and don't over rip we are going to repeat this at the back as well and this is what it looks like afterwards so isn't this lovely it doesn't take much time all you need to get right when you're doing this project is just the breast cup the breast cup defines everything so guys if you're still watching this and you're new to this channel what are you waiting for please check out our previous post don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video link drop a comment and let me know what next you would like me to work on also if you have any question regarding this project just drop a comment on the section below and let me know how i can be of help how i can be of an assistant to you to guide you through it so guys thank you so much again for watching and please 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 click on the subscribe button and check out our previous posts our diy projects and our trip flip projects and also our sneaker reviews i honestly can't wait to slay this t-shirt costed like for real for real yeah like that give it give that give that yay that's my girl <laughs> life is too short so we should leave it right eh, eh. Get it, get it, get, 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 get. oh god i'm hyping myself so guys thank you so much for watching i love you see you guys next week bye